T-minus 15 seconds. Second umbilical tower moving away from the Soyuz. Ignition. Ignition, the first stage engines. Intermediate ready. First stage engines are at maximum thrust. Main ready, lift off. Lift off, lift off of the Soyuz spacecraft carrying Gennady Padalka, Mike Barrett, and Charles Simonier to the International Space Station. Good pitch program according to flight controllers. Small vibrations. Yes, we see that. Getting small vibrations. The Soyuz is heading toward a link up for the International Space Station two days from now. Good first stage performance. Soyuz developing 102 pounds of thrust from its fire boosters and single engine. The, view. the first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length. Everything is nominal. We're feeling well. Copy that. 24 feet in diameter as it burns for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Light G loads, but nothing out of the ordinary. Just as usual. This is your third time on this thing. At yes. 1 minute and 58 seconds, jettison the four strap-on boosters will occur. These will yes. have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Copy. G loads are increasing. Nothing out of the ordinary. Now we see only a dot in the sky. And now we have live in-cabin views uh, aboard the Soyuz spacecraft. Everything is well, we're feeling well. Confirm separation, everything is nominal. Separation, the Soyuz second stage now performing as advertised. The weather is wonderful on the ground now, clear sky. Second stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Uh, bearing jettison confirm. Copy that. Do you experience uh, the jettisoning of the fairing? Yes. Yes, we uh, uh, we see the light coming through the window. Oh yes, you guys are now receiving sun. Exactly. You may get suntanned while you're flying. Yes, under the windows. And there's a small gnome hanging from the uh, ceiling of the spacecraft, uh, a memento from Gennady Padalka's first mission to the International Space Station on Expedition 9. So everything is well, feeling well, vehicle is performing well, copy all. How is uh, Simone doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Four minutes into the flight of the Soyuz and all systems performing nominally. This is your second flight. Which time was easier? Continuing the first or the second? to power up on the second stage. On the uh, TV. The four liquid-fueled engines uh, that have completed their task for today are now dropping away 
about four minutes of powered flights is remaining. The Soyuz is now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. That engine providing 30 tons of thrust and is going to burn for four minutes and two seconds. Continuing to receive live television pictures from inside the crew cabin. Perhaps, uh, Gennady, uh, if we purchase those brand new uh, gadgets, the visibility would be better, inaudible. Uh, Vehicle nominal, we're feeling well, everything goes well. Copy. Vehicle is nominal, feeling well, everything is nominal, i copy. Copy all, everything is nominal on the ground as well. Four hundred forty seconds, copy. Altitude 200 kilometers. Copy, approximate altitude 200 kilometers. All is well on board. Crew members reporting current altitude is 200 kilometers. That's about 125 statute miles. All systems working well. Uh, stay in touch on the phone from the orbit. Yes, Anatoly Nikolaevich, I'm not going to pester you with my calls, but if uh, something comes up, uh, I will definitely I will be calling you. Vehicle is doing well, we're feeling well, G load's increasing, everything is nominal. Uh, Yuri Lenshikov called me a lot to report on the situation. Did he uh, interrupt you? No, never, even if when I was driving, yeah, I was happy to receive his calls. So anyway, we'll be in touch. Confirm a separation of the third stage, uh, a sensor on, oh, my gravity and G-loads are gone, we're in, in space. Well, guys, good luck to you. Uh, thank you. And... Uh, we will talk to you soon. Thank you. And third stage separation confirmed as the Soyuz is now in orbit and the microgravity is being felt by the crew. The single uh, liquid fueled engine has now shut down and dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Third stage now performing an avoidance maneuver by opening an outgassing valve in the liquid oxygen tank. Confirm completion. We have that confirmation of the spacecraft separation. The capsule and crew inside now safely in orbit. The spacecraft is going to automatically begin initiating its pre programmed commanding for antenna and solar arrays to deploy. The Soyuz's third stage steering jets are now firing to separate the booster from the capsule. It's orbiting at an altitude of about 143 miles by 118 miles. That orbit will be raised systematically over the course of the next two days to put it in close proximity to the space station for a final rendezvous and docking that is set for 8.14 a.m. Central Time on Saturday. Control of the spacecraft from here on will be overseen by the Russian Mission Control Center in Karlov, outside of Moscow. Close uh, leak check. That's at 15.00.